The idea is um, at the clinics you have a facilitator who is just well trained on how to place the um, insert earphones and how to place the headset and maybe even give some instructions as necessary. But Dirk will now run an automated protocol. So, no, I wonder if you think I should take this off? If you can, please. I, I would assume so. Should we yeah. use the, the small ones? I think the big ones, yes. All right. All right, so. We're going to give him a response button. This is what he uses to respond. Uh, the children like this, but uh, it's not much fun if you just have to press the button. And number two is number two down there. Okay. Every time you hear the sound. Yeah, if you, I hear it. If you hear anything, yes, of course. Probably not. <laughs> so, feeling this one? What is the patient's name? Johannes. We, we, we choose the patient with a South African name for you, yes. Johannes. To make it easy. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> I don't know his last name, if that's very South African. Okay. I'm not going to try that one. <laughs> Put it uh, down there first. So we make sure we get a good deep insertion. So that it's not uncomfortable, of course, but uh, deep enough. So, um, yes, we have to take it out. Claude has uh, helped me here. Very important to get the right and the left hand side uh, on the correct side, of course. And it has little lights here to tell you which side is which side. So thank you very much for that thought. Embarrassing. It's not, nothing everyone. different in South Africa. Red for, for right. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Bill. Thanks, thank you for embarrassing me in front of everyone. <laughs> Even happens with audiologists. <laughs> there we go. So um, that's the insert earphones, and we just put on the circumoral ear uh, phones, just like that. It's always good just to check that they're still in properly. It's just a probe check. This side, also check them on this side. There we go. Okay, so Dirk can now with talk forward talk to the patient. Good day, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah. I'm going to ask you to press the button every time you hear a sound. Do you have this response pad in your hand? You will hear sounds from different frequencies, high frequency and low frequency sounds. Every time you hear a sound, press the button. It's going to go quiet now. Yeah, just switch off. Talk forward. Just condition the patient now. See if he can hear the sound. He responded in 610 milliseconds. That's a very good response. In the right ear, also a very good response. I assume he will always respond within thousand milliseconds. So, and then I press next, and the test will start. So this is the automated protocol. You can see it's much quicker. 